Let's talk a little bit about triple threat position and your wind up. Probably the most fundamental part of the game, your ability to shoot, pass, or dodge from this position will allow any player to have success in multiple scenarios. There are a lot of different nuances that go into your triple threat position, and the purpose of this micro training is to go over these generally. So the first thing is your screenshot. The screenshot sets up all your moves. Your screenshot gives you more range on your shot. Your screenshot is impossible for a goalie to pick up because it can't see it coming. And meanwhile, it really kind of freaks defensemen out. Nobody wants to get hit with a lacrosse ball. And it sets up a lot of your moves. It sets up your hitch and go and your hitch and split. It sets up your multiple hitch moves. It sets up your face dodge and your face dodge variations like toe drags and fake toe drags. It sets up your spin move. It sets up your face dodge rollbacks. Also sets up your swim moves. Let's watch the film and really dive into what these moves all look like. The ability to have a great triple threat starts with your footwork and your, and your ability to just set your feet and rip the ball. Watch here how Will Manny moves up the field and adeptly gets his feet perfectly set and his balance online so that he can shoot the ball. When you get into this position with your windup, it sets up your ability not only to shoot, but to feed. Whether you're a defenseman, a midi, or an attackman, you need to be able to have a great windup to set up your feeds. Your windup will become your most effective part of your game because normally defenders are approaching you, and when you wind up, they're getting out of your way. It all starts with your screenshot and the threat of your shot. If you want people getting out of your way, start looking to shoot around them. The goalies can't see it coming and the defenders freak out. Nobody wants to get hit with a lacrosse ball. Whether it's around your man or over the top of your man, shoot, use your man as a screen. And you'll have increased range and increased success. The best players use hitch fakes to find their screen. Watch here, a subtle little pump allows the attackman to find the screen. Whether your defender is trying to get out of the way of your shot or trying to get in the way of your shot, a hitch, a hitch, a hitch will help you find your screen and find your balance. The first dodge I want to talk about is your hitch and go. And there are a couple different variations of the hitch. The first one is the bring it back hitch. Watch Zach Courier as he catches the ball and brings his stick back to set up his hitch. Look at the defender approaching and turning his back, trying not to get hit in the front. Watch this player on the crease with a similar bring it back type of hitch. It's very subtle and it creates a nice little hesitation, in this case, just outside of the crease. But watch this player bring his hands forward on his hitch. There are two different ways. You can bring your hands forward or you can bring your hands back. Here again, hands forward to set up his move. Both good techniques used in different ways. Oftentimes, your hitch will gain you top side angle. Here, watch the player hitch and split. Catches it right, splits through his left. There's a lot of different variations of your hitch and go. Let's talk about the art of multiple hitching. This might be one of the greatest plays in the history of the NCAA tournament where Chris Cloutier hitches once, hitches twice, hitches a third time, and then scores. Here's what this is all about. On your first hitch, they're bracing. On your second hitch, they're expecting shot. On your third hitch, they're just jumping around. Canadians are the masters of the multiple hitch situation. If you want to think about it in one last way, anytime you hitch and go and shoot, think about hitching where you would have shot, and it'll set up your multiple hitch. Let's watch Jeff Teat with a multiple hitch situation. Hitch, hitch, lift, and shot. Your face dodge, one of the first moves you learn, it's all about a great wind up. You got to be able to sell shot and then bring your stick across your face. You can go low to high on your wind up face dodge. You can do a wind up face dodge off of a body bounce and a step back. You can do it off of a fade shot type of wind up, but your face dodge 
is incredibly effective. Here are Austin stats using double threat to triple threat to set up his face dodge. One of the most effective elements of faking is going from double threat to triple threat because it's multiple fakes. Your toe drag is similar to your face dodge because the stick comes in front of your body, but it comes low. So it allows you to be in very tight quarters. Here, a box lacrosse player in a four on three situation sells shot and is able to execute a toe drag in incredibly tight quarters. Here's a fake toe drag, wind up, fake your toe drag, set your feet, find your screenshot. Your wind up spin move happens when you suck the defense right into your hands, leaving you no space to face dodge. Here, watch this player wind up, spin, and then roll back to get a strong hand. Face dodge rollback is an awesome move, and it's very natural. It's very intuitive. This is where you just wind up, face dodge, and roll right back. It's very difficult for the on-ball defender to stay with your face dodge rollback because they got to try to cover the face dodge, and once they commit to that, they can't get back. It's another double move. Sometimes this move looks like you're just spinning in a circle. Your wind-up swim move happens on your hands-forward type of a hitch where you really suck the defense into your hands make them run right past you. Happens a lot in box lacrosse. Here it again. Hands forward hitch, swim move. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on wind-ups and triple threat position. One of the most important and fundamental parts of the game. Also one of the most fun parts of the game. Work on your wind-ups and you'll have a ton of success.